irritating part because you really have the, the very small uh, small screws and I would recommend using a, a, a screwdriver rather than your trying to use your um, uh, your uh, cordless drill or cordless screwdriver uh, because uh, you may uh, get them in uh, at an angle and that would be bad uh, so we would prefer to to kind of start those screws by hand if you can do so which I'm doing here uh, and then tie up with the screwdriver uh, and if you'll notice uh, the the bottom uh, the bottom slide is going to go on in the very bottom uh, again this is when your cabinet has a lip on the front as mine does uh, if there's not a lip if the the opening uh, extends all the way to the bottom and to the sides uh, then you want to raise it up a little bit um, so that uh, and that's according to the directions right so there are two different uh, settings there uh, I guess you could put it at the higher uh, the higher uh, uh, setting if you preferred to do so um, I just went by the directions and it seemed to come out pretty good again we're uh, we're getting the the screws put in for each of the slides and you'll notice that there are two two uh, uh, screws on the back and then there are going to be two screws at the front of each for each part of the frame so we'll put the the left and the right slides on first and then um, uh, and then proceed to, to put the front frame on uh, to make this uh, complete right um, and I, I just snug them up for right now because you want to make sure that everything is uh, working correctly or, or as you expect it to here we uh, are putting in the the uh, other side of the slide again um, we've got to get that in the right holes uh, make sure that you're not uh, putting in the wrong holes uh, for uh, each side that they're in the same set of holes uh, and get that snugged up and uh, and ready to go and you'll you'll notice uh, so the end of the the end of the slide uh, with the uh, where the uh, the slide actually slides out should be to you uh, that's going to be the front of the frame so that you orient yourself correctly uh, as you're putting things in um, that way you'll you'll know uh, you won't put things in kind of uh, wonky on one side or or you know have have a have it you know different uh, in different places and then have to pay, take it back apart um, ask me how I know right so um, I've done this once before with a bigger frame uh, as you can see here we we now have uh, the two the front frame uh, going on and if you'll notice uh, we've had to slide the slide all the way out and then there are two uh, distinct holes in the slide for the screws to go through uh, you'll notice that uh, you know those have to be you have to kind of push through uh, those holes and get the screw in there uh, and and get it started and get get it in there uh, correctly again it because they are such small screws it's very easy uh, to cross thread them um, so you want to take your time want to make sure that you get them in there right uh, and and if you need to back off on them and, and put them in again then just take your time and do that uh, because you'll it'll come out much much better again I've done this on a larger uh, a larger frame and I'll show you that later in the video um, but this uh, this frame uh, once it's done uh, we will uh, mount it in the cabinet and we'll be able to you'll be able to see uh, the results of uh, of the uh, of the frame and and how it all comes together um, I think 
you know, this is this is a, a piece I mentioned in a previous video. Uh, you want to when I'm doing the remodel, I'm trying to make it, uh, you know, a more upscale uh, version of my uh, my kitchen. And part of that uh, helping to be a little bit more upscale is to put in sliders uh, in some of the cabinets. Uh, it makes my wife much happier, much happier. Um, since she's able to just slide the slides out and get to, to her pots and pans and all the things uh, that she wants, uh, that she keeps in the kitchen. So, um, and, you know, these sliders, uh, depending on when you get them, uh, can be, uh, can be, can get pricey or you, you can get them uh, fairly, uh, fairly inexpensively. Uh, I'm going to include a link in the description to uh, for these uh, for these these kits and you can order them off of Amazon I am an affiliate so I may make a little bit off of it if you order it from from them through that link uh, but I do appreciate uh, you going and, and looking at them and deciding whether you want this kind of uh, this kind of kit to put in sliders or not um, we have certainly enjoyed them. Uh, you know, my wife's already putting things in to uh, the cabinets, uh, even before I get the, uh, the countertop put on for the cabinets. Uh, they're just, uh, the count, uh, the cabinets are, are hooked together and they're hooked to the wall. Um, but they're not ready, um, to uh to have the countertops put on or i'm not ready to put the countertops on that'll be the next video uh that i go through is to show the countertops uh being put on again we we have if you if you noticed in the previous video and i'll i'll link to the video uh up here um you'll you'll notice that uh that we have um, we have solid counter solid uh, surface countertops uh, and the amount of countertops that you see was about twenty five hundred dollars with the uh, all inclusive the, the built in sink so that really came out very uh, very cost effective for those uh, for those countertops. And we decided that rather than replacing the, the cabinets, we wanted to paint the cabinets to get just what we wanted rather than ordering a set of uh, expensive, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> cabinets that may not have been exactly what we wanted. So, uh, so we painted the, 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 uh, the cabinets and we are putting in a new set of cabinets on the other side of the kitchen. For some reason, uh, when they built the, the house, uh, they did not put in uh, that. So that's why we are doing this uh, now. So as you can see here, uh, I am tightening up the screws with uh, the, uh, the drill. Um, it's a tight fit, but I'm able to get in there and, and get them, uh, get them tightened up. I think it's important to try and, and tighten this up, uh, you know, as, as tightly as you can after you get them in, uh, and, and they've been snugged up. The, the key is that you don't want to tighten them down a lot until you've gotten things, uh, uh adjusted and, and everything is, is fitting in, uh, correctly. Once, uh, once these are in uh, the right holes, everything appears to be right, then yes, absolutely go, go back and, and make sure that they are tightened down uh, completely, uh, and then you can go on to the next step. Uh, and the next step uh, is to put together the, uh, the boxes, and you can see that these, uh, these boxes that will fit in the slider are made out of wood. And they fit together. Uh, they have uh, divots in them, uh, rabbits that uh, that the, the wood fits into, 
And what you want to make sure of is that uh, you, when you're putting these together, uh, you are putting them together uh, in the right manner uh, uh, the, the, that they are uh, all flush uh, and that you've gotten the front and the backs on. And then when you, um, w when you put them in, when you put the slides on, make sure that the slides are uh, in the right direction uh, for uh, the de decorative side to be out. Um, the uh, instruction manual uh, will tell you to do this last. Um, having done it before, I can tell you that it's better to do this, uh, you know, at, at, you know, early on or after you've gotten the frame together. Uh, so that when, once you are uh, in, in a spot to actually put um, these together, to take the screws and screw this, this box together, um, you know, once, once you've put the frame into the cabinet, you'll be able to just slide these in uh, and you won't have to stop and go back and, and redo these, uh, these boxes. So it's really uh, an important, kind of a, an important distinction. The, the, I, for whatever reason, the instructions had this going in at the last. Um, what I like to do is to put uh, a couple of screws in one end, uh, put a couple of screws in the other, uh, make sure everything's fit together correctly, uh, that the bottom of the, of the uh, slide uh, box is, is uh, uh, in the, in the, um, uh, in the divot like it's supposed to be. Uh, and I actually had a problem with the second box uh, in which I had to take it back apart a little bit to uh, to make sure that all of the that the pieces were in the uh, the appropriate uh, you know rabbits uh, as they should be because uh, you want to make sure that the that everything fits together uh, quite snugly and uh, it is a it is a very um, well made piece of the project. All of these pieces seem to be well made and and put together pretty well. Um, didn't have any pro real problem with, uh, with putting them together, uh, and hopefully you won't either. Uh, they do have, a, do have customer service that you can call, and they're pretty good. Um, the first time I put this together, I had to call them. Um, but uh, once, uh, you know, if you're missing a part or they just, uh, you want them to be able to, uh, to, to give you some uh, pointers and how to put it together, uh, they can certainly help. So you see that we have uh, we have the box and it has holes in the side of each one um, that we will then put these pieces of the slider. If you remember, we removed these from the main body of the slider before we put the sliders together in the frame. So now we're going to put this uh, and we're going to make sure that the square part is towards the front or decorative part and you'll notice that there's one um, this slide will slide in and out uh, and it'll be on both sides you'll notice that there on this uh, on this piece there is one hole that is not elongated you want that hole to go into the front uh, of the slide uh, because that is the uh, that denotes the front where where it can only go to the front of the slide if you put it on uh, wrong, you'll know it pretty well uh, pretty soon thereafter because it will not fit into the slide uh, as you expect to. I found that um, just uh, not tightening them down but getting them a little loose, uh, getting them screwed in uh, is, is a better way of doing this uh, because you'll notice I pull up on the slide a little bit to get the center one in. Um, and once that center one is in snug and, and uh, tightened down, we can tighten down the others uh, and it will be uh, in the proper placement uh, for the slider uh, going in. And then we'll, uh, we'll turn it around and we'll do uh, the same thing on the other end, on the other side. Again, making sure that the piece uh, with the square end <coughs> is, uh, is forward on the box and that the single um, single screw goes in.
so we want to um, we want to get this uh, this this uh, these sliders put on uh, on here because the next uh, the next. step is going to be mounting uh, the uh, the frame into the cabinet. And we, when we're done with that, we would just want to be able to slide these in, test them, and make sure that uh, we've put them in uh, correctly and that they are uh, in a spot uh, where the door to the cabinet will not interfere with, uh, or with them or they will not interfere with the closing of the door on the cabinet. And I'll show you, there is the, the kit actually comes with a... Uh, with a piece uh, a piece of paper that you do not want to throw away because it, it gives you uh, a template to go by to put the to put the, uh, the the cabinet in again I show you uh, the order of the various uh, the various pieces uh, it shows you where that the uh, different things occur and it shows you how you're putting the the frame in first and then creating the the, the uh, boxes I personally uh, prefer to do that this is the uh, the guide alignment that I was talking about the mounting template that you want to utilize and you'll notice it's hanging off the front and this is specifically meant to give you a proper placement uh, for your frame far enough back uh, so that it has uh, enough clearance <clears throat> where the slides do not interfere with the cabinet doors so when we and we want to make sure and you'll see uh, in a moment uh, that i will uh, i will take the uh, my, my ruler or my, my measurement tape and i will make sure that uh, the center of the uh, of the, the the frame is in fact um, in the center of the of the, uh, the the cabinet, right? Right, because you can then uh, kind of go down inside the cabinet uh, from the top end, um, or you can uh, you know you can get down into it and, and work on it that way. Uh, it's probably you know if, if we put it into a into an existing cabinet, it's going to be. Uh, much more difficult uh, to accommodate, uh, but uh, we think we can. We could do that as well. Here um, we are going to uh, measure and make sure that the center line of the frame aligns to the center of the cabinet opening. Uh, we move it just a little bit to, to make sure that uh, each that the uh, sides of the cabinet are, are uh, the same distance on either side of the frame, and we will uh, make sure that um, you know, it 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 is consistent uh, and is lined up with the template uh, that we have already on the on the frame. Um, and now we will uh, come back and measure the front of the frame as well. Uh, we'll make sure that it's, it's aligned and make sure that uh, on both sides the, um, the frame is the same width from the, or the same distance front to back uh, from the lip uh, to uh, the first frame member, right? And that way uh, we'll make sure that it is in there uh, parallel to the back of the, um, of the, or to parallel to the front of the, the face of the cabinet. Right? And that way we'll make sure that once we've uh, gotten that uh, tied down, we won't have to move it uh, and it will be uh, properly uh, properly placed uh, to to get it uh, to get it everything done and finished. So as you notice, I'm putting in uh, a, a screw, um, and we now have the um, we're going to put in the inserts uh, into each one of the uh, in, into each one of the the, the uh, boxes that go into the into the uh, slide ins, 
this is something that comes with them. Uh, it's a nice add-in. So we're going to go ahead and put the boxes into the sliders. Uh, now that we have everything locked down um, and there is, uh, you know, there's no nothing magical about it. Uh, you've probably done this a number of times with, uh, you know, other other uh, drawers or whatever. Uh, they slide in pretty well, um, and then you'll you'll be able to see uh, there's the top uh, the top slider. Uh, we'll slide both of these in, and then I will put the uh, put the doors on the cabinet. And then you'll be able to see that uh, the placement of the uh, the slide ends uh, will not interfere um, with the uh, the closing of the cabinets. So this is the finished product with um, the cabinet uh, opening up, and you can see uh, that it slides right out uh, and and goes back in very easily. Uh, and doesn't interfere with the cabinet. Uh, they, it closes all the way. Um, and then we will uh, show you the larger version uh, that I put in, as I said before, my wife is already starting to use it to, uh, to put in things. Um, as you can tell, I still need to do some touch up on the paint. One of the things I did want to bring up to you was the use of uh, the multi-purpose screws, the T15 uh, uh, heads. Uh, I think that's very important. I, I would appreciate it if you uh, felt that this was, uh, was useful to you, that you like this video, and that you, uh, that you uh, uh, subscribe and follow and, and follow uh, this channel. Uh, so until the next time, Thank you again.